These Chardonnay grapes are being picked in the early morning by hand. With the wet year that we had, uh, everything is pushed back at least 10 days. Uh, last year, I believe we picked probably about a week earlier. But with this, we had that warm, little warm spell. This, uh, these grapes are coming on pretty quick now. Each bin will weigh about 1,000 pounds. And the yield? Uh, average crop, I would say. While the vast majority of this region's grapes are mechanically harvested, the winemaker needs the grapes delivered in bins. He also says hand picking means less twigs and pieces of vine. We keep the leaves out, nothing, I mean, it's just basically all grapes. He tells me what he wants, that's what he gets. Beginning of the crush this year. And the he Pat Costa is referring to is sparkling winemaker Eric Donaldson of LVVR, or Lover Wines. It's crazy. The year is blowing by. It's hard to believe it's all early August already and grapes are already here. These early grapes will work well for his sparkling wines that are produced in the more labor-intensive method champenois technique. It just seems to be a real trend right now and the, the market's demanding higher quality so a lot of people are going for they're wanting the champenois because it has a more, you know, more refined structure finer bubble structure to it. I'd say this is about five times more labor per bottle than a standard bottle of wine. Donaldson will get about 70 gallons of juice out of each bin and will produce around 6,000 cases this year and he will also make sparkling wine for over 20 other wineries who ship their juice to him. And if all goes as planned, this juice will be this by early next year. In Lockford, Will Hereford, KCRA 3 News.